Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4. They just released a new trailer. It's very short, but it's something that we can go over, and we're going to be breaking it down in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Supergirl is obviously on break. It didn't air last night. Or the night before, sorry, on Sunday night because um, I believe the Super Bowl was on. And then next week it's not on again and I think it's the Emmys, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but then we're, again, we're returning near to the end of February, so in a few weeks time. And then after that we got a week break for the Oscars and then we have Supergirl returning back to normal after that. You know, all all the episodes basically maybe one or two breaks after that but um yeah so right now it's a bit staggering and they released this trailer you know to break up the time i guess but i'm expecting a longer extended trailer very soon as we head towards that episode in about a week or so okay so let's break this trailer down you know it gives us a lot of new shots lots of new context as to what's going on in the episode although it's not very long in the meanwhile and so this episode is titled Menagerie, and I believe I'm saying that right. But essentially, Menagerie is going to be the villain of the episode that we get to see, like, our proper first look in this episode. And so the way she's portrayed on the show, which we'll get to, is kind of similar to the comics. And I have to say, it's very creepy. And although I wouldn't say I'm digging it because I think that's the wrong word to say I think it's definitely getting there to the comic books and how she's sort of alive but yeah she works with Manchester Black in the comics and she's part of you know his group of the elite and so presumably Manchester is going to be returning to actually help her at some point this season very soon and I'm guessing she's going to be recurring like depending on how good she is and how much they like her and so her powers really just consist of metamorphoses as far as the latest version of Menagerie actually goes and although there's not too much information on her in the actual comics because she doesn't appear all too much she does have a relation to the Superman and Supergirl family in that she worked with Manchester Black in the past and so yeah metamorphosis is her powers she's gonna be using it in a weird way we'll break that down now okay so the first shot of the trailer we see a new look at the prison where we see Agent Liberty Ben Lockwood and he's talking to his wife and his son as we saw in the previous trailer just a different version of the shot as they cut away and so we go back to that same scene with Kara and Nia on the rooftop and we see Kara's Supergirl talking to Nia, Nia's all suited up and she talks about like the fact that she can become this hero, she can actually be a proper hero and we'll see how good she is, I love Nia's suit so I'm very much excited for it. And we move on to the next shot, this is a new shot and we see like the news sort of helicopter behind them and it's the Children of Liberty, we see Ben Lockwood's son and he's talking about how Agent Liberty wants them to all rise up so something is going on with them. I reckon they're gonna die down very soon because it's a little bit repetitive by now but you see like a kid behind him and he's pretty young as well so are these mainly younger kids that they're dealing with like teenagers in this episode which is interesting so moving on to the next shot this is where we get our first like proper good look at Menagerie we see her metamorphosis in control and oh my god this shit is weird like that is some alien stuff right here and if you look in the comic books she has this sort of like tentacle like figure around her but this is even weirder than the comic books this is some weird shit like for real and we see like this sort of like creature coming out of her and it looks like a snake but it's like a hybrid it's more like a sort of spider version of a snake and it oh god yeah it doesn't look very nice and i don't know how i feel about it like poking out of her neck it seems like this is just you know all cgi added after obviously it is but i hope in the episode it's not too blatant that they just did it on the side and you know it's not doing too much apart from attacking and it's just there you know added in rather than actually connecting to her properly so i wonder how it will look from behind but anyway that looks super creepy and yeah so looking forward to that and so as we go on 
and we go over to the next shot we see Kara and she's with Nia and she's sort of making this sort of pouting face it's a face of endearment essentially and then she smiles so you know it's a good scene and I really like the shot as well okay so we move on to the next shot and we see Nia on the rooftop as she smiles after she's had that conversation with Kara so Kara is going to be mentoring her in this episode and as the episode goes goes on and if she continues on to next season obviously she's going to be sort of more solo I guess and I wonder how it's going to go on from there, but I really do like this rooftop shot. Reminds me of when Arrow actually visited the Flash, like Barry, for the first time, which was super interesting because they were on the rooftop and then... So it's sort of like a parallel between those two, and I really appreciate that. And so we go along into the next shot, and we see Menagerie again with her weird, you know, snake thing popping out of her neck, and... Yeah, like I said, this is the only thing. I don't know about this shot. Obviously, it's just a still freeze frame, but it kind of looks a bit weird. I think it looks better in the other shot. So hopefully it's sort of mixes into her rather than just having a human with this snake thing on her neck. But you see in the background, it's some sort of party or something. And there is Children of Liberty here, which is very interesting. So Menagerie's most likely to be an alien. And so the Children of Liberty are getting attacked and... So it seems like they are actually there for Menagerie, which is very interesting, and this is probably the point where Menagerie is revealed, and I'm guessing she's there for evil intent anyway, apart from the Children of Liberty being there. But we go over to another place, and this, you can see, it's all green, there's forest behind, there's a garden, and it's a quite a nice house, or wherever they are. And it seems like this is one of the crime scenes, probably, because you see the DEO agents with Alex, and she looks kind of shocked, so something's going on here. But we go back to that party scene, and just outside, we see Menagerie shooting these sort of snake-like things that she has all over Supergirl. And like I said, look, you can see on the neck, it's not there right now. So the metamorphosis most likely is her able to, you know, shoot stuff out, get things to create out of herself. Maybe she will totally change into a different being at some point, which would be interesting. But we see Supergirl as she's getting wrapped around by these sort of spider-like snake things. And she's getting strangled. And then we get this really nice shot of her. It seemingly looks like she's flying in the air because she's definitely higher. Or it's Supergirl on the ground and she's looking down. And Nia comes to the rescue. And that's the final shot that we saw in those past trailers. And Nia essentially knocks her out. Maybe this is the last time they fight. But... Yeah, so this is Nia training, and Menagerie is going to be the first step in her superhero journey, and we see Kara in the next shot obviously congratulating her. I feel like she's going to get up or something and just smack Nia around the head. I imagine something like that's going to happen because it seems all too a bit simple at this point, and we'll have to wait and see as to what actually is going on. But yeah, so Menagerie's coming in this episode it's gonna be interesting i reckon she will appear a couple of episodes in a couple more episodes as the season goes on and also they released a synopsis and let's quickly go over this before we actually um leave off for this video so it goes with his pi shingle newly hung outside his office jean welcomes his new clients trying to take a mind off what happened at the deo kara decides to team up with jean on his latest assignment which unfortunately ends up tying directly into Alex's current investigation that involves the villain, Menagerie. Meanwhile, Lena shares some news with James, but his reaction isn't quite what she expected. Nia invites Brainy to a Valentine's Day party. Okay, so let's quickly break this down. And so the first bit is to do with Jean, and he's welcoming his clients with finally opening his doors. That's going to be interesting. I don't have all too much interest in that. What I do have interest in, in terms of Jean, is working with Kara in this episode. And so Kara's trying to keep her mind off things from what happened at the DEO recently. And she's on this mission to find out something to do with Menagerie. It's her investigation. But it just so happens it ties into Alex's current investigation and as you know Alex in fact doesn't know Kara's Supergirl and Alex was being a prick the other episode to Kara or to Supergirl I mean it's so confusing but yeah so that's going to be you know a mix-up where they're going to be sort of fighting against each other and it's painful to watch I've got to say it's painful but it's good and so unfortunately it ties in I think this is happening a lot recently, I do have to question how many times can their investigations sort of tie up all together. 
But anyway, meanwhile, Lena shares some news with James, but his reaction isn't what she expected. So I'm guessing this news is to do with maybe Lex, because we know Lex is coming out of prison very soon, or we're going to see him very soon. So James might have a mixed reaction to that, because we know he's best friends with Superman. So we'll have to wait and see. I believe it's something to do with that. And Nia invites Brainy to a Valentine's Day party. This is just, you know, expanding on what we already know that they want to explore this relationship. And I think it works. We haven't seen too much. It's just some nice little flirty moments. But yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.